and entering the cook skill. That's a good amount. 40 right there. 130 left. I do have a medium clue from fishing, so let's go ahead and knock this out because I think if we get a unique, we should get some points, so... Why the heck not? Let's just see if we can knock... Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Let's see if we can knock this out really quickly. Hopefully we get all the steps we can do. Uh, bamboo. Wait, I'm so stupid. I didn't realize they have a clue helper on the room light. Oh my god, I am so dumb. Oh, we got the casket already. Beautiful. Let's go home and open this up. Uh, hopefully we get a unique so we can get our task completed. I don't know if there's any other rewards we can get that might, like, give us, um... Like a, ta you know, a task for equipping. Maybe Ranger Boots? Imagine Ranger Boots 1KC. Uh, interesting. Gain a unique from a medium clue. That's 40 points. Wow. And 40 points for equipping a trimmed amulet. What? Shall I'll take it. <laughs> what is that? That's 80 points. Let's go. 40 left. And we have a clueless... Oh. This is one of those... Oh my god. Wow. Wait, that... This is actually pretty rare on 07, isn't it? And we just we just completed a 200 point task for that. Yo, okay, that clue is so worth it. Oh my, I should have did that sooner. Like, what what am I thinking? All right, now we gotta look through and pick out which one I want to do next. I could do Infernal Gathering, which would actually help us a lot with the rest of these tasks. Um, yeah, either that or the clue scroll one, because that would also be pretty decent. So, creatures that drop clues have a 145 chance of dropping them. This also applies to impling jars. Clue geodes, clue nests, clue models are found 5x more often. All clue scrolls have the lowest number of steps possible for their tier. That right there is huge. That one right there. Every clue scroll casket will roll the maximum rewards it can give. It can roll the same item more than once. There's a chance when opening a clue casket that you'll receive another casket of the same tier. This is more common uh, the lower the casket tier. There's also a chance for this additional casket to be upgraded to a tier above the one you opened. So that could be fun. That would be a lot of fun, but the treasures or the infernal gathering would be really useful for maxing and just getting my corrupted gauntlet stats. So I'm kind of iffy. Yeah, so the bloodthirsty one isn't even an and that is not even an idea of one. These two are just so good. I think I'm going to go with the Infernal Gathering just because it's going to help me get to my goals sooner. And the, the one thing about the treasure seat, like it's really good. I would actually love to have it. I wish it was a different tier relic. But the only thing that would really help me the most with is getting third age. And is that even like... Yeah, it doesn't even look like it's worth much if I'm being quite honest. I think... It's just better. Like, that's gonna help money-wise, but also just getting to Gauntlet and, like, getting my stats up for other things is just gonna help a lot as well, so. We're gonna go with Infernal Gathering, confirm. And now, these are all Crystal Tier, by the way. Wait, do we get points for equipping these? Oh, uh, imagine. These are all Crystal Tiered web or, uh, tools. And now, like, for example, if I chop a log, it's gonna insta-burn. And I, it, I don't even need the fire-making level to do that. Same with the Harpoon. I can use that to catch a shark. And it's just going to insta-cook it. And I don't, I don't think I have to worry about it burning either, which is a big bonus. And then the sm the pickaxe is the one I'm most excited about. Because that's going to be just really useful. It's going to make bars instantly. So yeah, I, I think that is a decent idea. I'm actually curious if this uh, clueless scroll is worth anything. Let's see. Clueless. And there... Wait, there's nothing in there? Oh, shoot. How do, is there no, like... I wish I could see the history of like last sold items. Cause what if this is worth a lot? Cause it does give 200 points. Oh, never mind. Can't list it. Oh, maybe it's a guaranteed when you do your first clue scroll or something. Cause that's, that's a, that is a little strange. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, let's go continue. Um, I do have 71 fishing. I have a lot of monk fish in the bank, which I could just cook. I might go do that. God damn. I am even more glad I picked that freaking relic because look how many we just burned oh my god from one inventory that's crazy well hopefully it just gets us as close to 70 as possible we can finish the rest from fishing i guess might even be faster just to fish low-key with the mount we're burning because i think we'd fish it faster than we'd cook these beautiful yep i think fishing to 70 is gonna be the play right now oh i wish i did this sooner i wouldn't have to keep fishing right now it'd already be done i guess we'll get to 76 for sharks maybe from this so i was just doing some fishing 74 fishing we got our first ever pet on the account let's freaking go can i call it over here uh there he is well you can metamorph it what the hell uh, it's probably from like temporalis or something 
And we also just got two hard clue bottles in the same inventory. We have this hard clue on us as well. So I guess you can stack clues on here, which is actually really nice. So yeah, not bad. We're very close. Just one more inventory and we have 70 cooking and 70 cooking achieved. I am probably going to go work on some... Mm, it's either wood cutting or mining. I don't know which one I want to do right now. Mm, I kind of want to take a little break. Maybe do this clue and also try and do some more Zora just to test our luck. And I also want to try out the new gear we have. All right, we have a casket. Good luck. First ever hard clue on the count. What do we get? Uh, nothing, but we got some points. Do we get anything from equipping these? Oh, nice. We just... Wait, did we not? Yeah, we did. Did we... Wait. Gain a unique item from a hard clue. And... Completing a hard clue. Well, we got another 40. What was... Oh, five collection log slots. Cool. Alright, not bad, not bad. I actually never updated this. How far are we? 3k points from our next freaking relic. I thought I got a rare, but I got a Zola Andra teleport as a drop and it popped up as a collection log. Bro, come on. I, why do you gotta bait me like that, dude? Uh, I, I thought I finally got some, but, but look at that. 38 second kills. We've basically increased our time by 10 to 15 seconds each kill, which is super nice. So yeah, this gear is really good right now. 50 Zora down, that means we got ourselves 80 points, not bad. Finally guys, finally it took 74 KC, we get our first drop and it's the Magic Fang. It's not the Tans Fang, I would much have preferred that, but I think they're all around the similar similar value. Similar, yeah, did I say that right? Jeez, I don't even know, my brain is fried from all these Zoras, but... If we can, tr maybe potentially trade it for a freaking blowpipe, that would be nice. Oh, 20 mil, that's not not as much as I thought it was. Uh, how much is a tans? Oh, 20 mil as well. What about a blowpipe? 25. Maybe I can trade it, and I think a serp is all around this as well. I could potentially trade this for a blowpipe, and if I can, that would be huge, so... I guess it doesn't hurt to start yelling for that. Achieved our first level 90, gave us 200 league points. Nice. Alright, so I had to hunt around and ask how to claim my freaking items from my GE history, my sales. Because you can't do it through the interface. Uh, oh, that's Scarp. I forgot about that guy. It's been so long since I saw him. But apparently you go to the banker and collect. So that is interesting. We have 23 mil in the coffer. Can I just withdraw it all? 24 mil. There we go. So we did sell our items, which is good. Not all of them, but you know, the ones I wanted to. Uh, we sold the votes and the Magic Fang, which means we should be able to get a blowpipe, I think. Um, I don't think we can outright buy the blowpipe, but we could probably get the Fang for cheap. 25 mil. Oh, we're really close, Dan. So we, we get that, and then we need a crafting level, or I can maybe get like one of the mods to do it. And just craft me a blowpipe and that should be our blowpipe obtained. I do need a little bit more cash though, unfortunately. Unless, I don't think I have enough in the bank. Nope. We need 25 mil, so we need one mil more. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing some more Zora though, see if we get lucky. A freaking magma mutagen. That's so rare, bro. A magma mutagen. That is so insanely rare to get from Zora. That could have been any of the other drops. I don't know if I'm happy or sad. I'm guessing... It's going to give us points if we uh, make the Serp and equip it. I'm actually kind of curious. Let's see. Uh, mag or How would I do this? Serp. They're probably Equip a Serp Helm. What about Magma? Wow, is there really no task for that? Mutagen? Damn. I feel like that should be a really good task, but it isn't. Rip. Well, going, uh, I don't even know how many dry. We get our, our next drop and it's a fucking Onyx. Of all items and Onyx, bro, this game. I, I don't even know. This is like 5 mil, maybe. I'm just going to sell it. Take the easy cash. Let's see. Onyx. How much? 3 mil. Yep, okay. Where's the rope? And 150 Zora has been slain, which gives us 200 league points. So, I mean, that's not bad. I'm probably going to stop soon and go back to skilling because once I get a Bofa, I don't think I'd use Blowpipe anyways. I feel like Bofa would be better, so... Yeah, probably done after uh, this killer the next, and then back to skilling we go. Oh, we got our first ever clue from mining, and it gave us a task, so nice. 
I'll take the free 40 points. Currently 57 mining and smithing, working our way towards 70. Oh, mine 50 iron ore, nice. I should look at the other ones and see if there's any other, like mine 50s or whatever. Yeah, it looks like we need to do 50 addy ore whenever we can, which is... Oh, 70. We're done at 70 though, so we can always come back to that. Wait, we have a multi tournament here. I'm just blasting music and attacking. <laughs> Wait, is this a, just a free win, bro? Like what? I'll take it. There's a little, uh, a little bit of BSing going on. Apparently you can attack people on your own team. That's crazy. Bro, I have no clue what the hell is going on. All I know is I'm getting backstabbed, bro. What is happening? Well, I got fourth place. I guess it's not really a team game unless... Well, that's so weird. Because you can still fight your teammates. So there's still one winner, I guess. It's not a team win. Maybe that's what it is. And so people just start BSing whenever the hell they want. That's an interesting game mode. See, it'd be so much more fun if I had friends on here to team with. But, I mean, hey, we get 500k in the end. We got fourth place. I'll take it. Uh, we still only get one tournament point, though. Also, we're very close to uh, 70 mining and smithing. So, we're almost on to the next skill, finally. So, that's really good. But yeah, so far from the tournaments I have done, I can tell there's not really that many good PKers. Because <laughs> usually the PKers would participate in the tournaments, right? And every tournament I've done, they, they haven't been the best, so maybe we can do some PKing after we max and stuff. That would be probably pretty fun and free, so now that I've got a lot more experience from uh, old school, like I think it would be pretty fun. There we go, 70 smithing and 70 mining completed. I actually never went in this portal and I'm very curious what's in here. Let's see. Does it teleport me home? Oh, oh. Maybe I should have did MLM, bro. I might have fucked up. That would have been actually really good for getting our pros prospector and stuff. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay, so we still need 70 construction, 70 herbal, 70 hunter, and 70 wood cutting. Oh, my days. Also, I'm very glad I went with this relic because smithing would have been a pain afterwards if I didn't get it. So I guess I'll do wood cutting. I feel like that's going to be the next fastest one. Uh, especially since we have the crystal axe, basically. Wherever the hell I put it? Where the, where the hell did I... Where did I put it? I don't even know. Axe. There it is. Alright, let's go do some uh, woodcutting, I guess. Also, woodcutting we can AFK, I believe. Also, hunter we can do in the AFK zone. Yeah, I don't think we're doing... Um, I don't think we're doing Corrupted Gauntlet tonight, which I wanted to, but it's fine. Obtain a bird's nest, 10 points. A, hey, I'll take it. Okay, woodcutting already seems like it's gonna be a breeze. I, like, I went from willows to maples in less than 30 seconds, so. Look at these XP draw. Oh my god, so much better than mining. Mining is just so bad. This is so chill. Plus, I never have to bank. Oh man, I, I already love it. Okay, okay, reached 1,000 total level. More points, I'll take it, I'll take it. We are, help it already refreshed. 2,400, it's such a long grind, dude. Did I already look at the relics for the next ones? I, I don't even know. Oh, I definitely haven't, wait. Oh, the Ruinous Powers is a really good spellbook. It's actually better than getting Rigor and Augury. I remember this now, that actually could be really good. I gotta look at the other ones. Okay, no one's picking the freaking farming one, bro. There's no way. All right, and this one, each time you gain XP, you gain an additional XP equal to 10%. Oh my, wait, that's actually kind of insane. Additional XP by this relic is not multiplied by your league's XP multiplier. Your lowest skill will receive 20% total XP instead of 10%. Okay, if chosen with the production prodigy relic, each... Okay, I don't think I picked that one. Uh, maybe we should have looked at all the... No, I I don't think the XP thing is what I would want the, anyways. I think I would go for the damage, the PVM relic for sure. That would actually be really good. So, yeah, at least we know what the next relic we want is and we don't have to worry about deciding later. So, yeah, about to hit use already. So, this is this is pretty chill and pretty fast. Okay, burn 100 U logs, 80 point. I swear to God, I'm just getting random things completed while just skilling, so... That's always really nice. I want that freaking beaver though. Give me that beaver, bro. That's someone in the banks, I think. It's probably that ripper guy. I think I saw him with it earlier. Give me that. The pets on here actually do a pet perks, which I believe this will give like an extra 10 or 15% XP while chopping wood. So that would be really nice. That would actually be pretty nice. The Zora pet has no perks, unfortunately. I've seen other private servers make it so the Zora pet like gives you 
like infinite recoil i think that would actually be really cool that would be really nice if they ever are taking suggestions you know that that would be one of mine for sure but yeah currently uh 66 wood cutting already so not bad and 70 wood cutting achieved all we have left is hunter herblore and construction and farm the farming one is what i'm most worried about because do i have to wait for seeds to plant i didn't even think about this that's a crazy requirement damn i do think i'm going to currently just afk a little bit of hunter here while i play some league because my addiction is kicking in and gotta maintain my diamond ring so yeah, let's go ahead and just AFK some Hunter. Uh, oh, wait, this gives farming too? Wait, maybe overnight we hit like a really high farming and Hunter level doing this. So I'm mostly worried about construction then. I didn't realize this gave uh, farming XP as well. Wait, that's actually so huge. That's two skills in one. Well, we might have messed up. I am currently 59 farming and... Where is it? 59 Hunter. But I think I get Herblor XP if I do Druidic Ritual and I do the same exact AFK method for the farming and hunters. But let, let's see, let's go ahead and finish this quest and boom. So we got 6,000 Herbor XP. Yahoo, 22 Herbor. But now the question is from the AFK zone, am I gonna start getting Herblor XP? That is the question. Because if we get all three, that would be really nice. Um, but yeah, I, I guess we'll see. Show me the Herblore XP drop, please. And any second now. Hello? There it is. Oh man, I should have did that earlier. I missed out on a lot of free Herblore levels. Well, you live and you learn. Oh, yeah, also, we do have some cash to claim from the banker. Just withdraw it all. That's from selling, I believe, the Onyx. So there we go. Our cash tech's looking at a juicy 29 million. We also voted, so we got another bond and these. So let's just go and redeem. Redeem, get some more cash and more other supplies. It's the same supplies every time, but it's money. Also got an antique lamp. I don't know what I want to use that on. Um, kind of tempted to use it on construction, but if it scales with level, I'm going to hold off. I don't know if it does or doesn't. Also an update on the points. Boom. 2,120 to go. Because we hit 95 range and that gave us 200 more points, which is pretty juicy, not gonna lie. Okay, let's go ahead and list these and then I'm probably gonna go hop back in bed and get some more levels from AFKing. Clean a grimy guam, another 10 points, I'll take it. Well, we ended up going to sleep waking up. We're at 65 farming and 57 herblore, 65 hunter. And yeah, we, we didn't quite get to the point where we wanted to be. But that's okay, I just need to figure out the rest of these levels. I also have to figure out construction, which I have no planks for. So I might honestly have to do some wood cutting and make my own. Unless there's some in the shop. Oh, I sold some of our crystal keys for 340k each as well while we were in bed. You love to see it. Let me go ahead and collect that. That is a free 2 miller. Why the hell not? Bro, a house is one mil? Oh my god, I'm going broke. That's only 10 points. One million for 10 points. Okay. So how am I supposed to get planks? Do I actually have to make planks, bro? That's crazy. 1250 total level, getting us 40 extra points. Currently, where is it? Uh, 41 construction. It's actually pretty fast. It's just the planks I'm worried about. I think I can buy teak planks. I think people are selling teak planks, so maybe that's the real play. I did turn all of our mahogany logs from Zora into planks as well, so... Yeah, we might just buy a bunch of teak planks, take the L on the, the cash we'd lose, because it be it wouldn't be cheap. It would not be cheap, but it'd probably be worth it. Wait, I just sat in this chair and it gave me 400 points for building a demonic throne what uh hello i didn't even mean to sit i was trying to remove it that's kind of nice okay thank you for the free 400 points down to 1640 for the next relic we're over halfway and 70 construction done there we go we literally just have the farming and hunter left that, that's it and i guess herb lord too but i think we can just probably knock that out right now maybe um and get that to 70 just by buying stuff maybe <laughs> i think the secondaries is like kind of hard to get for what you need 
Like, dude, what is this? They're selling Snape grass for 38k, bro. Like, come on, man. Uh, I might just spend some of our skilling points on uh, Herblore stuff, low-key. That might just have to be what has to be done. 8,600, and we can get herb secondaries, boom. And that costs 1,500 each. Does it give a lot, though? Please tell me it gives a good amount. Uh, 15 of each? I mean, it, it could be worse, right? We just buy more because I, I think there's herbs on the grand exchange it's just not there's no secondaries so it's 15 each no matter what interesting we have 5k left let's just do one more and maybe that'll be enough if we're lucky uh we just have to buy the right herbs oh god i'm making super strengths and this xp is so bad oh brother oh i need more secondaries yep let's just buy two and boom boom that's a lot of limp wort roots not bad actually well we're about at 65 herb lore we spent a good amount of our cash on uh all these skills combined but 65 is incoming there we go we're 65 herb lore farming and hunters so yeah we can just afk zone until 70 which will take a bit of time but i mean beats is actually training the skills i'm not gonna lie so yeah we're just gonna do that until we hit level 70s and then i think that's it we're done and we are ready for gauntlet just need to get five more levels here let's go ahead and pick the giveaway winner from the previous video for the 10 bond good luck good luck ignore all the ads <laughs> And the winner goes to Roberg. Make sure to message me on Instagram or Discord to claim your prize. And make sure you guys enter today's giveaway as well for five mystery boxes. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one and peace.